All right, what's up everybody? Today we're going to be checking out Barrage from Hidden Path Audio, which is a really nice percussion library. Um, it can do epic and processed in these really, you know, huge stacks of like trailer drums, um, like a Hans Zimmer type sound, but it also has some solo drums as well um, and three different mic positions so you can really kind of tailor the sound from really huge and boomy and roomy to really up front and, you know, more intimate um, so let's check it out real quick and then I've got a test track loaded up uh, where we can check out like the solo instruments and stuff but this is the kind of stuff you can create um, using the ensemble creator so they have taikos, toms and stuff like that and you can stack uh, whichever drums you want to be featured and then of course you can double it up and layer them all together and get something very huge and epic. So those are, you know, a few different layers of using the Ensemble Designer, which is really cool and probably the one that, you know, trailer composers or action composers are most going to be drawn to because each of these instruments can be loaded up individually in their own NKI files, um, but here you can use them all. So if you just want one of these, just simply select one. And they are mapped across the keyboard down here in the colored keys so you can also get like snare symbols or again like I just did you can get all of the above depending on which one you want to select so then we also have some sound design effects up there as well So now I'm just going to isolate each layer and you can really hear um, and maybe as we're going through kind of turn off uh, some of the drums and enable a different one because they really do each have their own unique sound. So you can really hear there how, you know, the Tycho's and they have like that really nice kind of boomy low end and then the Surdo's when you add that, it adds more detail. So really I'm um, experimenting with those using just one of the layers or uh, any s combination of all four of those really can shape your sound um, plus all the different mic positions as well. So let's check out the other uh, little layers I have here. So again, it's a really nice, thick, um, kind of processed sound, and you can go in and enable these different effects here. Um, obviously, I have some EQ to make them really kind of punch out of the mix, so the highs are boosted there, and the low is cut a little bit on one of those layers, so it cuts through a bit more, and it doesn't get too muddy. 
And then there's also over here different effects, slam, crush, delay, and reverb. Slam, uh, you know, is, I, I think it's just a compressor, and you can hear it as it, you know, kind of squishes the sound. Again, making it more processed or slammed, like, right into the mix there. Um, so that's something also to experiment with. I usually have it off and just layer them together so that the dynamic layer, the dynamic range is unaffected by it, and it doesn't sound too... Um, like they're all the same level because that can sound a bit too processed for some people. Now let's go in and check out the, um, the individual instruments here and also we'll go into the mic positions here. So yeah, you can hear how that slam effect really compresses the sound. And again, if you want a more processed sound, you know, feel free to turn that on. And of course, we have envelopes over here, you know, attack, release. But really, all I did to get the result that I got was layer them all together. I didn't have any slam effects, anything on. And then not even the reverb. I added a third party, the Valhalla Room reverb. And that, so that kind of makes them all in the same space instead of having their own different reverbs on it. And then, you know, just layering them all together is how you get that really nice, thick, trailery type sound. Um, let's go through. This was the dull. We'll go through some of the instruments here because there are a few here that you can see. Let's check out what they each sound like. These are the solo instruments, so they're going to be more detailed and a bit more intimate. And then there in the red key, you can hear we have the rolls there, which are programmed to your mod wheel. So you can use them to swell up just like that. So again, of course, um, as usual, it's best to use those swells uh, with the mod wheel here in, inside of your DAW. Hold that key down, and then, for instance, we'll do it like this. And then add a hit at the end so that it gets a nice conclusion to it and it doesn't just swell up into nothingness, which will be something like this. Again, all just programming inside your DAW or sequencer, and then of course you can also do that on the fly just using the mod wheel. So those are you know a few of the different um, solo instruments, and you know also Tycho. So they have any anything from kind of smaller, more intimate instruments to the bigger instruments, and then of course the big processed ensemble designers, and they also have some more sound design percussion here, which is again even more processed. And let's just go in real quick, and you can use name Drumageddon, Boom Thwack, stuff like that. So it's going to be crazy big.
So some really nice trailer effects, uh, transitions and almost riser type sounds there. And then Drumageddon, we'll check that one out for good measure. So again, those are even bigger, not as realistic, kind of just crazy huge. And of course, um, it's not going to be as dynamically varied or as realistic as using those ensembles up here. So, you know, simply doing this and then adding in layers as you go, um, you can easily achieve something that is a very nice foundation for, you know, a big kind of action cue, which you can do just like this. <laughs> 